All right, you guys, we're gonna do a little update on the bathtub pond. As you can see, it looks a little dirty. The water is actually crystal clear. We just got some algae growing on the side. And since the tub is white, you can see a lot of the debris accumulating at the bottom of the tank. Um, but that's okay, because we're gonna do a full rehab on this tub today. You can get it nice and cleaned up. I'm gonna have some substrate so you don't see that debris at the bottom. And as you can see, I made a little overhead five gallon bucket filter. As you can see, this pump down here pumps the water up through the PVC line to the top of the bucket. It fills up the bucket and then overflows back into the tub. We got a little bit of bio rings in there. But I bought some more that we're gonna add to give us more surface area for bacteria to grow. Actually got a whole box of this stuff that we're gonna add today. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna turn the bucket filter into an aquaponic system. So my idea is I'm gonna drill a couple holes for these little net pots. Either gonna do like two, I'm thinking like one right here, one right here, or maybe four of them. We're gonna see how well they fit on there. And then the plant we're gonna use is this pothos plant right here. Pothos plant, it's a really easy plant to grow, can grow in water, and it's gonna also gonna help us suck up some of those excess nitrates from some of the fish we got in there. Yeah. And this is the substrate I got to put in the bottom. They call it Mexican beach sand, even though it's not sand. It's actually like a gravel. It's the same substrate I have in my discus tank in the living room. If you guys have seen that video. Real cool, multicolored rock. So yeah, I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna get this tub cleaned up. I'm gonna clean up all the debris in the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the substrate and see how it looks, all right? So I'll pick the camera back up once I got the substrate in. All right, so I got the substrate in, you guys. Water got a little bit murky because I didn't rinse it before I put it in there. So if you're gonna do this, I advise you should probably rinse the, the rocks before you put it in your pond or tank, whatever you're doing with it. I also got the new filter media in the bucket. So we got about six pounds of bio rings added um, to the existing media that was in there. Before we had the black lid on top of this because I didn't have a white one and it just looked kind of weird with everything being all white and this being black. So I went ahead and got a new lid. We got the white lid right here. Now all we have to do is drill another hole for the intake and then we have to drill four three inch holes for four net pots so we can set up our aquaponics system all right so i'm gonna give the camera to my boy david and he's gonna film me drilling these holes all right all right you guys for this first hole we're using an inch and three eighths drill bit for the intake of the bucket. And so I'm gonna drill it just like I did the last one, like the black bit right in the middle. Line it up. And just like that. You know what the excess. Alright. And now we're gonna drill the four holes for the two inch net pots. And for these holes, we're gonna use a three inch hole saw. All right. All right. Now we just need to determine where we wanna put these. And we have to remember that the intake is gonna be in the middle, right where we drilled that hole. So we have that pipe coming down. And then we also have, and then we also have the overflow. 
So we got to be careful not to drill the holes so the net pot hits the overflow. All right. All right. So let's just say the overflow is right here. I'll drill one right about there. And the trick with these hole saw guys is once you get the drill bit part in, you want to flip the drill to reverse so it goes the other way so it doesn't catch all crazy. Oh, by the way, you should probably charge the drill before you, before you do this. <laughs> Alright. Brief intermission. Charge the drill. Alright, so we're back at it. The drill is finally charged. Let's get back to cutting our holes. Remember, like I said, you want the drill to be going to the left in reverse once you get it started. Fits. Damn, fits like a glove. So we're just gonna repeat this process three more times to get our four holes. And we should be good to go. Alright, all right, so we got all our holes cut out, four holes, center hole. Now all we gotta do is put it back together. So let's go ahead and do that. See if she fits. First we're gonna have to connect the, the intake. Slide that Get your washer on. And the intake up here doesn't need to be water sealed, you guys, so don't worry about silicone in there or anything because no water is going to leak out from the top. It's going to overflow before it reaches there. Take back on the lid on. Right. Let's see if our net pots fit in there. All fitting good. All right, we're good to go. Clears the overflow. Now all we got to do is, so we're going to put the pothos in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of this pot. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to knock the soil off and um, get all that soil off the roots because any of that fertilizer that's on the plants can potentially harm the fish if it's not organic. So what you want to do is you want to take it out of there spray it down real good get all that extra fertilizer off and that's what we're gonna do right now so we'll cut the camera grab the hose and get it together all right you guys scratch what i just said instead of taking this plant out of the pot and getting all the soil off i'm just going to take a couple clippings off it so i can actually save the remaining pieces of the plant and hang it up so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a couple little clippings off Put them into our net pots, put some clay um, clay tin around them, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip it, say right down here, looks like a good spot, and just like that. And we got four pots, so I'm gonna take four clippings. Of course, the dogs are going to walk over it. Right, and there's our fourth one. Alright, and that's what we're going to 
gonna do. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up at the ends. So we're gonna put into the net pot. So I'm gonna break off some of these extra leaves. So that gives us about three inches to put into the net pot. I'm gonna do that to each branch. four pieces all we got to do is place them in here like this we're gonna use this substrate like little pebbles called a clay tin and all we're gonna do is basically fill the net pot up with these I suggest rinsing these too before you add them, but I'm just gonna skip that for right now. All right, so some of them in there. Let's see. All right, there we go. You want to get the piece down to the bottom of the net cup, so you can make for sure it's touching the water. And you're just gonna put the rest of the pebbles around it to kind of hold it in place. That's all these things really do. So, just like that. And after a couple weeks in the water, these guys just start developing a root system. Okay, Guinness, I see you. She's like, what do I do? Just like that. Super simple, you guys. Pop that in there. First piece. And just like that. And we're gonna repeat that process three more times and then we'll plug her in. All right guys, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm using this smart water bottle as a pre-filter for our pump. So, is basically acting as the mechanical filtration of the whole system. So in the bucket we have the bio rings which I showed you earlier but that's all the, where all the beneficial bacteria is going to grow and help filter our water. Basically all this is going to do is grab the particulate matter, the fish poop and stuff like that. So I'm basically making it easy on myself so instead of having to get in that bucket and clean that all I have to do is pull this off the pump, this little water bottle once this gets all nasty, I just take it out, throw it away, and replace it. This stuff is real cheap. You can get it at Walmart. I think it's like $4.99, 5 bucks a bag. So super cheap, um, cost effective. And all I did was I used a 2-inch hole saw, kind of like that one, but a little bit smaller, and drilled a hole at the end right here. And all I do is I stuff some, some ceramic rings in here so the pump doesn't suck up this stuff. And basically all I do is just stuff it in there. Simple. So. You don't want to pack it too tight in there because it could restrict the flow of the pump. But you know, just stuff it in there until it looks about like that. Don't like jam it down in there. And then all I do is slide this onto the pump. Basically, what I did is I just put a little piece of PVC on the end of the pump. And this, bam, just like that. Super simple. Easy to maintenance. Set the pump down like that. Right. And before I put these other two plants in here, let me basically run through how this whole system works. So the pump is going to intake the water in through here through our pre filter, smart water bottle, and then it's gonna pump through here through the PVC in the back. It's gonna fill up the five gallon bucket. 
And then right here we have our overflow tube, which is just a three quarter inch PVC. Actually it's an inch PVC and to a bulkhead at the bottom. And once the water reaches this overflow tube, it's gonna drain down in there and come out right here. So basically you can see how our net pots hang a little bit lower than the overflow tube. So the water's gonna fill up, hit the net pots, the plant's gonna intake all these nutrients and grow. That's pretty much how it works, super simple. Basic aquaponic system. Science. <laughs> Science. Let's go ahead and put these last two plants in here. So this is kind of like helping me out in both ways. It's going to help me hide the bucket so it doesn't stand out so much. And it's also going to remove those excess nitrates we get from the fish poop. But, uh, and like that, guys, that's pretty much it. It's done. Let's plug her in. Make sure she works. Alright, I got her plugged in. It's going to take a little bit for the bucket to fill up. It should take about probably like a minute. you guys so it's all done got it set up pump is working filter is working it's going out of there so since we got this all set up now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these sponge filters out of here you can technically leave them in but I think it looks better without them in there so I'm gonna them out. go ahead and set that over here time in Off. Set that there momentarily. And since we're taking out, which was the main filtration, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some beneficial bacteria to go ahead and give us a little boost on our cycle. So, what I got is the turbo start the fritz i use this all the time works really good want to make sure you shake it up before you put it in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spread it out through the whole tub put a little bit in the filter so it gets directly on our filter media that we just put in there our bio rings ceramic rings so we put a little bit in there a little over here there. Go ahead and just like rinse it out. Get it all out of there. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're done. Simple aquaponics filter. You can do it at the house. I think this cost me around. I think the bucket was four dollars. The net pots were. I think 50 cents a piece. The clay of 10 was $5. And the pothos cost me $10. So, super simple filter. And look, we got a whole nother plant up there. Amazing. Science. Science. Alright, you guys. So, it's been about a full day. And as you can see, the pond is cleared up, the water is crystal clear. You see my little goldfish down there. I got three in here. Got one Aranda right there and a couple lion heads along with all the guppies that are in here. But yeah, everything's doing good. I'm hyped on how it turned out. The aquaponic filter is doing amazing. The pothos is converting from being in soil into water. I also added these two two gallon buckets on the side and made them into little hydroponic systems. On this side we have some lemon balm. If you rub the leaves like this and smell it, it smells amazing. Supposedly it helps with mosquitoes too and other pests. I don't know how accurate our 
good it will work but we'll see and then on this side I have a little spearmint also smells amazing also really good for making mojitos which is what I'll probably do um, but yeah so doing these little hydroponic systems gave me a little inspiration gave me an idea um, on this channel we normally focus more on fish but I decided hey uh, let's let's go a little bit crazy with these hydroponic systems and see how far we could take it so I picked up four five gallon buckets and I picked up these six inch net pots lids that just snap on there like that and I also picked up four pepper plants so we're gonna go ahead and transfer these from the soil knock all that soil off kind of how we did with the pothos get the roots nice and clean and we're gonna transfer them from growing in soil into these hydroponic five gallon bucket systems okay let's see what pepper plants we got so we got one jalapeno we got one hot fajita this one already has some peppers on it so that's it's pretty exciting it should be cool it should turn red in a little bit this one is a cajun bell pepper and it actually has a little two little bell peppers already growing it's so cute super small and then the fourth and final pepper we got is a sweet banana pepper so I'm gonna put the camera down get these roots nice and rinsed off cleaned up and then we'll transfer them into the net pots all right as you can see I got all the soil or majority of the soil knocked off all the plants and all the roots um, if this was an aquaponic system like we did on the pothos with the pond you definitely want to get all of the soil off because any of that non-organic fertilizer can be toxic to fish but since we're just doing a hydroponic system with no fish it's not necessary to get all of it off so yeah, we got all the soil knocked off we're ready to get them into the pots i got the buckets filled up basically once you fill them up you want the water to be about an inch deep into the net pot just to start them off and then as the roots grow down, you can drop the water, let the water level drop down uh, more and more. So as you see, we got about an inch of water in there. It's good to go. So before we transplant the plants, the peppers, into the pots, I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize these uh, five gallon buckets. What I got for fertilizer is I got the Fox Farm Grow Big. This is the veg. It's a two-part solution. You have the veg and then you have the flour. Right now we just want them to grow. We don't want the flour yet. So on the back it says two teaspoons, 10 milliliters per gallon. So we have about three and a half gallons of water in these five gallon buckets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dose it. Um, okay, it's not sealed either. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just dose 30 milliliters. We got our little measuring cup. See. Boom, right there, 30 milliliters. Go ahead and just pour that in there. Once you get that in there, you don't want to swish it around, mix it up. Spread out nice and thoroughly. This hydroponic method that we're doing right here is called the cracky method which means the roots just sit in the water, there's no aeration or water movement. They kind of just sit in the water and soak up all the nutrients. All right. so we got our buckets fertilized, ready to go, nutrients are in. Now all we gotta do is get our plants in here. All right, so we're gonna start off with the jalapeno plant. As you can see, I pruned some of the bottom stems off to give it, um, you know more length for the the hydrogen to grab a hold so let's get our net pot on there make sure it's snapped on nice and tight there we go all right we got it on there 
All right, so when you get your plant in there, you want to make sure your roots are touching the bottom of the net cup. So eventually, a week or two from now, the roots are going to grow through the net cup, start growing down to the bottom. But when you first get in there, it's the most important to make sure the roots are touching the bottom. So go ahead and just put it in there like this, and then we're just going to fill it in with the hydrogen. you fill it all the way to the top yeah all the way to the top so basically what the hydrogen does is not only does it hold the plant in place but it also blocks out any sunlight from getting down into the five gallon bucket you don't want any sunlight getting down there because sunlight and nutrients cause algae and you don't want algae in your buckets because it'll suck up the nutrients from your plant that your plant needs All right, and just like that, guys. As you can see, we got it all filled up. No light's gonna get in there. And what you wanna do is you're just gonna repeat this process for the other, the other plants. Pretty simple. All right, you guys, we got all the plants set up. We got them all in their buckets. We got the jalapeno in the front left. We got the sweet banana in the front on the right. Got the Cajun bells in the back right. And then we have the hot fajitas in the back left. So like I said, all the plants are set up. We got all the nutrients in the buckets. And now all we gotta do is we gotta wait. We're pretty hyped to see how these hot fajitas come out because there's already three big peppers on here. So I'm curious to see how fast all of these are gonna grow. Yeah, you guys, super simple method, cracky method, no aeration, no water pumps, just strictly a plant, some hydrogen, a bucket, and some nutrients. Super simple, anybody could do it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on these plants and see how they do. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.